and welcome to More Money Than Sense, the comedy quiz show that's all about money. Whether it's the price of illegal sperm or life insurance for suicide bombers, we've looked at the maddest markets out there and come up with some cunning questions for tonight's guests. I'm your host, Dominic Frisby, and our guests tonight are four money-savvy comedians. As ever, here with all the facts and figures is our resident economist from Oxford University, Dr. Natalie Quinn. In this game, we take a look at nations and what they produce. As you can see on the screen, we have our spinning globe. All our teams have to try and do is guess the number one export from the country it lands on. There we go, our spinning globe is a bit out of date because there are still ice caps on there. Ireland, the Emerald Isle. The biggest contribution in the last few years to Ireland's economy, I swear this is true, it's, we, they, have to, they have to be listed now in the budget, is Jedward. <laughs> Jesus, of all the things for there to be two of, it has to be those two. I want you to tell us what these four people have in common. They all do damage to their country's tourism. Is this David Cameron's dream dinner party? <laughs> in the movie Captain Phillips, the actor Barkad Abdi won a BAFTA for playing a Somali pirate. What we want to know is, would he have earned more annually as a real pirate? There he is, there is Barkhad Abdi. They don't earn as much as they used to, do they? What, Somali pirates? Yeah. Yeah, it's down there, isn't it? Lots of insurance. It's been shopping. It's the recession, yeah. isn't it? Sort of. Does, does, does that include all the money that Somali pirates make selling DVDs and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> Successful pirates are some of the country's most eligible bachelors, Ooh. with some of the big bosses pulling in a million pounds a year. All of the following items are on the black market, but only one of them will get you up to 10 years in prison and a half a million dollar fine for smuggling it into Canada. With the sperm, I presume it's someone else's sperm. <laughs> Sorry, you've got too much sperm, you're gonna have to... And in Canada today, more than 90% of the semen used for IVF is from either back alley sperm deals or profit based sperm banks in the US. Did you say back alley sperm deals? Right, so. She stunned me into silence. Let's just pause so they can cut that. With advice like that, who needs a financial advisor? I've been your host, Dominic Frisbee, and this has been More Money Than Sense. Good night. Yeah.